sure we put the table back in its proper place. Um, right, it should all be warmed up after that, so now I'm going to issue a stirring call to action for a man who's sitting down. Okay. It's called, it's not, you can no longer be as uninvolved as a tunnelling mole. It's no good retreating into your shell like an armadillo, shutting your small door or portillo behind you on the basis of some peccadillo and sitting, sitting the, um, sipping the amontillado, which you are an aficionado. No, you can't just shut yourself away in there. You've got to get out of here. Things are happening everywhere. Biff, bath, bath. It's all going off. It'll come down around our ears, my dears. So get out of the cave, Dave. Get down off the hill, Jill. Get out of your shack, Jack, and get back in the swim, Jim. You can no longer be as uninvolved as a tunneling mole. So get out of your hole, because worm eating is not the answer. Collective worm farming under democratic workers' control after the overthrow of world capitalism is. I'm going, to do, I'm going to do some shape shifting in which I turn into different living things. You may, some of you, more perceptive of you, will notice the physical changes in my body during this set. And others may not. <laughs> this one, I, find, I think you'll find it all, all very easy to see. Um, it's called a rotten poem. I am the compost, I rot in a heap. I rot when you wake, I rot when you sleep. I have no body nor brain instead. I am the living that lives on the dead. Potato peelings, garden cuttings and tea bags, or a philosopher's head wrapped in a sack. It all came from compost, I bring it all back. All organic transform, that's what I do. I am the compost, soon you'll be too. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, uh, this one, I'm now changing myself into a bird that used to live in London Zoo. Uh, here he is. She is actually, I believe, this particular bird was a female, so it's a sex change as well. I am an eagle, I live in a zoo, I don't like it much, neither would you. I sat on my perch, I glared down at crowds, and I dived in my mind between dreamed clouds. I sat on my perch and I stared at the wall, and I saw a sky with no bars at all. I sat on my perch, I shat on the floor, I tried to imagine what it feels like to soar. Then God of Eagles made good luck for me. One unlocked moment enough to fly free. Life without a cage was too short and sweet. Wide London sky killed dogs to eat. I sat in my tree, didn't know what to feel, kept dreaming of bars and regular meals. I sat in my tree, alone with the sky. I saw a warm cage, I had no wish to fly. I sat in my tree, I knew I was tamed. Made no move to escape when the dark gun was raised. I am an eagle. I live in a zoo. I don't like it much. Neither would you. <laughs> now for a bit of blood drinking. Uh, <clears throat> vampire bats could be called primitive communists by an ignorant man, a very ignorant man who does not have leather winged night flight, who cannot ride out over dark lands on rising thermals from cooling desert and scrubland, following the red scent that remains a trace on the air. And vampires don't sniff after spilt blood like stupid sharks. They smell it live, still pulsing through veins. They smell it and swoop down to it. Their scalpel sharp, incisive, slick. The man, horse, cow or mule feels nothing as the bat drinks a bat full, spits a little anticoagulant into the wound and leaves on leather wings up into the night skies back to the bat roost where it gives blood, not just to its own bane's kin and co-genetics like some titars to the Dawkins, but any bat of the community may share, any who is needy may drink, what is bat mine is bat yours, and then sophisticated communists sleep, the sleep of the just, all day, upside down, under leather wings. <laughs> I've got a couple of uh, seaside songs to finish off with, I think, and I'll find the first one. Here he is. It is a little ditty about a dolphin. 
Stinky the dolphins come to play, he washed up on the beach today, and on the strand he rots away, whiff, 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 stinky. Stinky the dolphins come to play, he used to frolic in the waves, but that's no way for a corpse to behave, so now he decomposes. He used to click and squeak in the foam, as all around the seas he'd roam, but above the tide lines his new home is become a seagull's restaurant. His bones are exposed as he turns to slime. He could outswim the tide, but he couldn't beat time. And as I hold my nose, I wonder when I'm going to be joining Stinky. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, finally, uh, another sea creature. I uh, hope there are no fishermen in the audience down the coast here because this might put you out of a job, some of you fisher persons. Um, and this is a. Uh, stirring uh, anthem on behalf of a, uh, a persecuted little sort of minority, the lobster, <laughs> and it is on page. What the fuck is it? It's on. Uh, <coughs> can't find it now. I'm having an attack of quibbles. Uh, oh, it must be here somewhere. Here it is, on the first page I turned over. Well, what about that? Listen, people, don't eat lobsters, you never know where they have been. They have crawled under these seas and seen things you've never seen. Listen, people, don't eat lobsters, you never know where they have been. They've seen sharks having a laugh, they've seen the big squid having fun. And they have learned from schools of mackerel beneath the light of a watery sun. Yes, these crustaceans got deep emotions as they crawl on ocean floors. Lobsters have codes, lobsters transmit, lobsters kiss with their strong sharp claws. So now people don't eat real lobsters just feast your eyes on the plastic lobsters hanging from the tuna beam. Let the real ones live contented, seeing things that you've never seen.